Happy Earth Day, garden scientists! Here's a fun way that you can recycle at home and make some cool paper beads. In my house, we get a lot of advertisements in the mail like this. It makes me sad to think about all of the trees that have to be used to print these ads for every single house. So I have a way to take this paper and recycle it into something new. For this activity, you just need some newspaper or magazines, scissors, a pencil, glue or tape, and then something to put your beads on. I have this shoelace. You can also, a ruler might be helpful or a flat edge. Here we have all of our materials that we'll need. Step one is to draw long triangles on your paper. Here's what that looks like. So your bead is going to be as long as the bottom of your triangle. I'm gonna start from one corner and just draw all the way across to the other side. Then I'm going to start from that point to make my next triangle. Your bead is going to be as wide as this bottom part of your triangle. So if you want to keep them as the same, you could do a little measuring like this, like you could make inch marks, but I don't really care. I'm just going to eyeball it. So again, starting from this, the point of the skinny part of the triangle, I'm going to go across. Then this is the skinny point of the next triangle. Trace across and go all the way down until you have the number of beads that you want. I just poked through the paper right there. That's okay because next we're going to cut them out anyway. Step two is cut the triangles. We have a bunch of our triangles. Now step three is Roll up the bead. Take your pencil and one of your triangles. Tuck the short end of the triangle around the pencil and then tightly roll it up. It's even okay if it rips like this because you're just gonna keep roll, roll, rolling around and it will get covered and it will be fine. When you get to the end skinny point of your triangle, take a little bit of tape or if you're using glue, you can use glue and You'll tape this point down to the rest of the bead. Step four is pull off the bead. And here you have it. I've made a bunch of beads. Now it's time to string them up. I like using a shoelace because it has this little plastic end that makes it easier to poke through the beads, but you can really use whatever string you have around your house. And I'm just gonna poke it through and string them on. Here's my new necklace that I just made by recycling. 
You can make necklaces, bracelets, earrings, whatever you want with these beads. Have fun, kids!